In this video, I'm going to show you a blitz that comes in even if your opponent blocks their halfback to try to pick this defense up. Now, this defense comes to us out of the 46 defensive playbook in the nickel 3-3 cub formation. If you're watching this video and you want to get my entire 3-3 cub defensive ebook, make sure to join my Patreon down in the description. It's only 10 bucks. It'll get you access to the entire ebook as well as a ton of other material, including over 22 offensive and defensive ebooks included with your membership. Now we're going to be talking today about a blitz concept out of 3-3 Cub that I absolutely love this year because it really dumbs out the halfback. They can't really block this blitz with a blocked running back. I'm actually going to be giving you a two-play mini scheme as well with this to improve your coverage and have it basically look identical. How do you have your pressure and your coverage look identical so that the opponent can't identify what you're doing and it's going to make it that much better for you? Now, both of these plays for this little mini scheme is going to be found in the nickel 3-3 cub formation. I personally prefer the 46 playbook. We're going to come out in 3-3 uh, normal, and we're going to audible into 3-3 cub. The one adjustment you want to make sure that you have set up is you want to set your zone coverage to match. This is going to significantly help you in terms of from a coverage perspective. So we're going to be coming out in the play cover four drop, and then I'm just going to come out here on offense in a bunch passing concept. And we're going to audible one click over, and the Mike Blitz Zero is the main audible that we're going to have. So how we're going to set this defense up is we're going to come down. We're just going to pinch our linebackers. Now, what I really like to do a lot, if I'm going to run the coverage variation of this in particular play, uh, one of the things that we're going to utilize is the power of our uh, of our outside linebackers. Our linebackers are actually middle linebackers. They're safeties. They can be cross man on anybody on the field. Anybody on the field, they can be cross man against. So what I like to do is take this right side cornerback and we're going to man him up on the circle receiver. Then I'm going to put that right side outside corner in a third. This is going to significantly help me uh, uh, to stop any kind of corner routes uh, to the bunch side. Now, I also need to be able to stop the C route, so we're going to put an outside third over here to the left side, and then we're going to man this running back up with the linebacker so that we can stop the snap throw wheel. And then what I, my last adjustment is to man up that outside receiver. So this is what my coverage defense looks like. I think this is one of the best coverage defenses in the game. If you want to get a little better sheds, you can go ahead and crash your defensive line out, and you're going to see that they're literally not going to be able to throw anything. I don't know what they're going to throw because we're going to go user that crosser, and as you can see, we're going to get incredible sheds. Now, what this is going to do is they're going to start putting five players out on a route a lot. And so that's going to lead us to my second setup, which is our blitz concept. So we're going to come out in Mike Blitz Zero again, same exact play. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to pinch the linebackers, and then we're going to QB contain for our blitz. What I like to do in the coverage aspect of this is I love to man up that safety on the left side on the solo receiver, and then that cornerback, we're going to man him up on the running back in case they try to throw some kind of wheel route uh, to the right or to the left. Uh, from a user perspective, we're going to stand down here. I love to put my user in a deep blue and basically just hold left trigger. I just want to be just to the right of the center. And you're going to see that we're going to get some pretty good pressure. If the pressure doesn't come in off of the edge, um, really simple little adjustment. All you have to do is crash your line out. That'll make it a little bit more consistent for edge pressure, specifically against bunch. There are other formations where you don't want to do that. By and large, I feel like this comes in 100% of the time in game. So you're going to get it off that right side pretty consistently, especially if they send five receivers out on a route. Now, what if they block a running back? Well, I'm glad you asked. So if they block a running back, what you're going to see here is we're going to set it up exactly the same. Every, all the adjustments are identical. But what you're going to notice is by us standing in this right side A gap, what's going to happen is it's going to cause this corner or safety to loop around the running back and we're going to be able to get pressure just like that so again i'm going to show you that setup for a blocked running back all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our linebackers contain and then qb contain and then we're going to basically make this scissor adjustment where we take the safety and man him up on the solo wide receiver and the corner and man him up on the running back in case the running back does go out on the route and then what you're going to see is that that because of the agility of that safety he is going to be able to loop around the running back. This defense is incredible because it really does force your opponent to have to max protect to stop this 
or to have to just simply block a tight end. Now, what we can do off of this, as we showed you in the beginning, is these different coverage adjustments where we can kind of get into a max coverage situation, and then they're going to be blocking people trying to stop this, right? Doing all this pass protection stuff pre-snap, and now they're not going to have any routes on the field, and you're going to be throwing in a double coverage all day long. I want to thank you for watching this video. If this video was helpful and you want to learn more about this defense, make sure to join our Patreon. I guarantee you that our Patreon is going to help you become a better Madden player. And it also is included with our all of our eBooks um, that we've released so far this year and any new weeks that we will release um, as long as your membership is active. So make sure that you get in the Patreon today and then head down to the description. There's a link down there that you can click on that will take you to go get signed up. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.